The cryptocurrency world is like the scariest roller coaster at a theme park. It looks really nice, but once you sit on it, you start to regret every decision. And for those people who I've talked to about crypto in the last couple of months, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. The crypto world in its current state is probably not at its best. It was probably one and a half months ago, but ever since the decline to Bitcoin and pretty much all of the other cryptocurrencies out there, the general consensus is that the crypto bubble has burst. I did hear things about crypto mining when I was getting into crypto, but I never really got into it that much or to that extent where I could try it out myself. But as I was scrolling through Twitter yesterday, I discovered Chad's tweet, Chad's YouTube channel even, where he made a video talking about how you could mine crypto and basically any currency you want him mining Dogecoin in specific. And I checked out his video. I'll leave a link down in the description if you are interested in learning how to mine for yourself. But that really got me thinking, can the new 2021 M1 iMac from Apple mine cryptocurrency? Of course, I do have parallels running on the iMac you see behind me. And if you wanna learn how you can run Windows 10 on the iMac, check out that video I made. But I basically followed Chad's tutorial video on my iMac and got everything set up. And spoiler alert, it wasn't really good. As I recently learned, the hash rate is what defines how fast or how slow you can mine a certain cryptocurrency. And in the case of the M1 processor on the iMac 2021, the hash rate I was getting was 138 to 150 hashes. Just for those people who don't understand anything that I just said, I actually compared this hash rate to the hash rate of my current laptop, which runs a NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti. And the hash rate I got there was 8 to 8.6 mega hash. So that's a huge, huge difference compared to a dedicated GPU running on my four to five year old laptop versus the M1 processor on the new iMac. I think the only thing to keep in mind with all of this testing is that the Parallels version that I'm running on the iMac is a trial version, so you're sort of restricted with the hardware power you can use. However, I think even when you upgrade to the full-fledged version of Parallels, you shouldn't be seeing a drastic difference and it shouldn't rival the hash rate of the GTX 1050 Ti I mentioned. And just to cross verify, I also sent out a tweet to Chad asking him about his hash rate and sort of saw what setup he was using. So he's basically got an Nvidia RTX 2080 Super running on his setup and that comes with a hash rate of about 35 mega hash, which is about four to five times more than the hash rate I'm getting on my laptop. And over the last couple of weeks, he's mined about a hundred Dogecoin. So if you keep that in consideration, and if you take into consideration how much my GTX 1050 Ti has mined, which is about 0.32 Dogecoin, you're looking at about one Dogecoin every two to three days using a setup like mine, my laptop. Whereas if you're looking to mine with the M1 on Parallels using Windows 10, you're pretty much looking at one Dogecoin every three to four weeks, which isn't going to pay the bills, at least not for the time being when Dogecoin is at its current value. So that's about it for this video. Can you mine cryptocurrency using an M1 device, whether that's the iMac, the MacBook, or even the iPad? Yes, you can, but should you mine crypto using an M1 device? Absolutely not. Those were just my thoughts and my findings. Let me know what you guys thought about the video down in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos coming up. This was Vabhav and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.